Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside the park home run. His first big league homer and inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle. Long, long, long run. He won't get it. And the Red Sox walk off with the win. How do you like that? Big puppy again. Now from City Field in Flushing, New York, we welcome you to another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Colorado Rockies and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on the show. Seth Lugo is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. What do you have for us on MH? When I look at this game, I look at one number that just jumped out at me. Over 300. Left-handers are hitting over 300. So if he wants to win this game, he's got to get those left-handers out. That will be where my attention is and see if he's able to execute in this game. Stepping in, Charlie Blackman. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And there to take it in is Flanderson for the first out of the inning. In and a moment now to peek at the Rockies starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Well, I'm looking for a big performance from Nolan Arenado. Looking at his stats, I was really impressed with the fact that he's hit four bombs in his last ten games. Lately, he's been the guy to watch, and I think he's ready to do some more damage right now. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. This is in the air for Cespedes is in left. Two gone. In now, Nolan Arenado. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Full count, here it comes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Another payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. The 3 2 one more time. Takes this the other way to right. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the two out hit extends the inning for Trevor Story. He just sports that ball off the wall. And now the question will be should he have continued on or down. not? He thought about Trevor. pushing it, I'm sure, Four. but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah and that hit might not amount to much but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Branderson is under it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. One left for Colorado. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Chad Bettis gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, what I like about him is he knows how to pitch. He gives his team a chance to win every time. Last outing was a perfect example. He gave up two runs and he still stuck around long enough to get the W. He's going to keep him in the game. I look for that type of performance in this game as well. In is Curtis Granderson. He's entering play in this one a home run shy of 20 for the season. From the windup the one one pitch a called strike over the outside corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that one stayed too low apparently. And this will miss down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two. 
Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Gonzalez. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run for Curtis Granderson. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. We always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, and as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt, it's three and one. Harold, as we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Matt, they're playing pretty good ball right now. Up and down home stand, they went five and four at home. This is the first game on the road. I just think they gotta kick it in another notch. When you go on the road, the pressure's a little bit different. You gotta take it to another level. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Blackman is right there, and he's got it for out number one. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, Matt, the key to this ball club, it's going to be a slugfest. We're at that point right now where guys, are, both teams are hot. It's a matter of getting to that pitcher and getting in that bullpen and see who has really, it may come down to who has the last at bats to win this game. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Espedes, currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. One out, nobody on. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Yoenis Cespedes becomes the second out of the bottom of the first. In now, Jay Bruce. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The one and two pitch. Line to the right side. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. Second inning coming up, and the Mets have an early 1 nothing lead. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. And the average isn't pretty. Down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Bruce. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here for Carlos Gonzalez. Number 10 for him on the year. As the Rockies pull even now at one apiece. I can tell you one thing, you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, 
but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. Here's the second baseman D.J. LeMayhew and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. He's set. Here's the three and two line drive to center field and that'll get down in front of Granderson for a base hit. So striding in Ian Desmond he comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. Working for the punch out and the offering. This is on the ground over to first to Cabrera for one on to Duda a double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time though and they get the two outs they were looking for. Stepping in now. Dustin Garno and that's on the outside corner one and two. Well that pulled him right there. Clearly he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger chopped weakly to the left there to get it is right. Throw in time and the side is retired. Rockies get one on the solo blast from Carlos Gonzalez onto the bottom of inning number two all even now at one one. Here's Neil Walker. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that ball's high as a strike in the zone can go, but umpires don't like to reward pitchers on that one. They want to make you get the ball down, so he called it a ball. Throw it down, you'll get the strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. All right, here's how the Rocks line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Trevor's story. What is the story with Trevor? We heard that enough his rookie year. He was hitting all kinds of moonshot homers. But I think his defense got overlooked. When I put him side by side in the breakdown with Troy Tulowitzki, do you know which one's the real Troy Tulowitzki? He's that much of a clone. Here's Lucas Duda now. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. That's pretty good break right there. Breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Here he comes again. One, two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Gonzalez at the track. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Mets move out to a 2 1 lead. his last start but he didn't give up any long balls he's already given up two here so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W on this one he's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters into the box David Wright he swings and sends it in the air to right center field Gonzalez 
Has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Batting eight. Catcher. Coming Travis. to the plate now, oh, Travis Darno. No. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for route number three. The Mets get one on this swing by Lucas Duda. We played two. It's now two to one, New York. Ready now, Chad Bettis. Nine, one, and two do up. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Hit hard on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly by Walker. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. Here's Charlie Blackman now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Slice down the left side, but foul. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Two and two count. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box now, David Dahl. And that pitch catches the inside corner. He's set and the payoff pitch. Slow bouncer to the right side. And the pitcher will just run over and take this one himself, and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Mets lead this one two to one. Digging in, Seth Lugo, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. What is he looking at? Now you were ahead in the count 1-0 and you take two balls right down the middle and you find yourself one and two. This is not a good at bat. Blackman patrolling center makes the play one out. Center fielder number two. So with one gone a reminder that New York Mets baseball continues all season long here on MLB the show as you take a look there at where the three of us will be in the week ahead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Curtis Granderson. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Here's the one and one delivery. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Granderson waits on the one two. Now this is foul tipped right into the catcher's glove as he holds on to preserve the strikeout and there are two away. Well there's the great equalizer the change of El Cambio. Listen if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it like he did right there. Usually hitters they don't stand a chance. In now as Drubal Cabrera. And he looks at one in there, yep. one and two. This is a big out for his confidence. Look, he struggled early. He's got two outs right now. He needs this next out, and then he's got a quick one, two, three. Out. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. That they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Digging in for his second at bat, Nolan Arenado. One for one after a single this first time up. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Wait. 
And another foul ball. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this ball Outside. runs away for ball two, two and one. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. A fastball that just misses inside. There's Carlos Gonzalez. He waits on deck. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation with these middle of the order guys. That's back to back K's. And the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Carlos Gonzalez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. A dive and he knocks it down. And no chance at all to make a play here. So despite the effort, the Nevada, inning will nine. continue. Second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Digging in to try it again. D.J. LeMayhew. He reached on a single in his first try. Now a hard liner toward short. But there to take it is Cabrera. And with that, the side is retired. Rocky strand one. Our score remains two to one. Here's Juana Cespedes. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Line toward the gap in left center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Throw into second, and he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Look out. Seven games. That's one week of feeling pretty good. Let's see how long he can make this last. Here's Jay Bruce now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Blackman is under it. He's got it one away. Here's Neil Walker. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Neil Walker. Good lead off at second there. Now the pitch. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. The pitch, a fastball off his glove, and it bounds away. And he'll make it to third here on what will likely be ruled a passed ball. Looked like a four seamer that just kept rising on him, and he couldn't get the mid up in time to catch it. Really, no excuse for that. That'll go as a in the dirt and block behind the plate. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Gonzalez the catch. Now here comes the runner from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Ready for another chance. Lucas Duda. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. Garno recovers, and the throw to first ends the inning. So it's one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We played four full. Mets out in front, three to one. Riding in once again, Ian Desmond comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 
Here's the one and one pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the one and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. The catcher number 13. Dustin and here now is Dustin Garno. Garno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's 2 and 2 now. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking the ball. Dustin Garno goes down for out number seven. two in the top half. Stepping in now. Chad Bettis in a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Settling in now, David Wright. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he hung a curveball that time, and it stayed up around the letters. Ball two. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Into his motion, here comes the 3 and 1. Here's a change up over the outside corner. Liner toward right center and Wright's going to have himself a base hit. You can't throw a ball high enough over this guy's eyes. He is a bad ball hitter and if you throw it up he'll just climb the ladder with the pitch. Here's the catcher Travis Darno looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And that misses so it's a full count three and two. Hits are now even at four apiece. Hit hard on the ground at first. One there. On to first, and they get them both. Now, now to the plate, oh, Seth Lugo. Hit it hard, but lined Lugo. out in his first at bat. Two out, nobody on. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. And here's a ball hit in the air. Desmond is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets go down quickly, but they hang on to a 3-1 to one lead. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. One and one here it comes. And he just misses with a curveball. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you could hit the corner with it. But no dice this time. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. And now that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David, David Dahl. Leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. 
The fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Well, he's pitching really good in this game, and the fastball location has been the key. That pitch right there is indicative of the game. Down low, hits a spot. That's what he's been doing with the fastball basically the whole game. He's set. Here's the 2 2. That's lifted the other way out to left. Cespedes is there. And that's the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The batter, number 20, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Ready for another chance? Nolan Arenado, one for two on his line so far in the game. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Ready with two balls and a strike. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And Granderson will get this one in off the wall. And a relay to the plate is in time. And he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. With two outs, I totally understand sending him there. But with only one out, you've got to be pretty positive about getting him home safely. Could have been first and third with one away, which is a whole lot better than what they're working with now. Standing in now, Trevor Story starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Wow, how about that? He was tempted to make a swing at that pitch right there. That was way out of the zone, but he just kept his hands back enough. Line towards center field. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. One left for Colorado. Score holds. It's 3-1. to one. Chris Russon is on his way now into the ballgame now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Russell. Digging in to try it again. Curtis Granderson. Lifetime in this matchup. Two for three. the 0 2 pitch and he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt but he'll hold back here it's one and two now here's the pitch curveball got him swinging for the first out good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there yeah man that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count you can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier Into the box as Dribble Cabrera. Nope. And there's ball two now. Three runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Skied into straightaway right. And Gonzalez will put this one away for round number two. The left fielder number 52, Yoannis Saspedes. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Now the pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Hit out towards second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, and it's still three to one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. 
Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Josh Edgen is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 66, Josh Edgen. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Carlos Gonzalez. He's off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. Here's the one and one delivery. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Batter, number nine, second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. He's one for two in the ball game. One and one, here it is. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Well, that was a good change up right there. You see how he swung through that ball? Man, he's got him thinking now because that was clearly an indication he was looking fastball and got fooled. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. There to play it is Walker, and there are two gone now. Now batting. Ready once again, Ian Desmond. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Hit hard down the line, and he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Riding in once again, Dustin Garno. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. So coming to the plate, Jay Bruce. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And Bruce can't connect there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the inning. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. In now, Neil Walker. And the changeup is way low that time. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Grounded weakly toward third. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was at first. The skipper's out of the dugout and it looks as though he might decide to challenge that out call. Well I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout. But here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this gentlemen. play. The Mets have decided to. So here's the one last play. look at that replay from another angle. There has to be indisputable evidence in order to change the call. And boy, I'll tell you what, I just don't see it there. I'd be pretty surprised if this challenge works out for them in this case. And the review process appears to be coming to an end, so here comes the decision. 
And he is indeed out at first as originally called. So they lose the challenge and the ability to use any further challenges for the rest of the game. Lucas Duda will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. That's and that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he'll make it in there with a two-out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially David over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Stepping in now. David Wright, and he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And that's in there, base hit. And to score, the runner from second. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three-run lead. You always play to beat that the bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got oh, that cushion. No. Standing in now, Travis Darno. Fastball called strike, one and two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Liner towards second. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Mets four and the Rockies one. Jerry Blevins has been summoned from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eight. 39, Jerry Steven Cardulo is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Hit on the ground out to short. Backhanded. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting, center fielder, Charlie Blackman. Ready for another shot now. Charlie Blackman, last time through, was a base hit. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. He pulls this one into right. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. They've left a lot of men on base. They've had plenty of opportunities. And here's another one after a base hit. They find themselves with another runner on. Let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. Into the box now. David Dahl. And he held up in time. But it's strike three called. And there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Into the box, Nolan Arenado ripped on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Rocky Strand won, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Jake McGee comes on to work now, now and he's their Colorado. usual closer, Number but this 51. is obviously not a save Jake opportunity. McGee. Yeah, this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close the game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him a chance to pitch in a real game situation here. 
Wilmer, Wilmer Flores is going to grab Number a bat four. here as he looks to try to Wilmer. set the table in the Wilmer. bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And they can't run it down. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you can do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Matt, I think he thought he's going to get another breaking ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. That's a nice pitch, though, following that breaking pitch to keep him off balance with the heater. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Center fielder, number three. Into the box, Curtis Granderson. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Four runs, six hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. That looked like he was cheating for that fastball inside right there. Early swing, got out in front of that off-speed pitch, clearly looking for a fastball. Lays off two and two now. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. As Dribble Cabrera waits on deck. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. In now as Drupal Cabrera. Went up and out of the zone that time, but he gets a piece of it, and he'll see another pitch. Let's go. Here comes the payoff pitch. There's a drive out toward the alley in right center. Rounding first is Cabrera on his way to second now. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Digging in once again, Joanna Cespedes. And now following the two-out double, he's got a chance to drive in a run here. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy All like right. that. Builder He's just 19. too dangerous, and they decided hey. they'll take their chances with Ooh. the next guy in the lineup. At the plate, Jay Bruce. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Well hit the other way, again. it's into the gap. Cabrera rounds third and is digging for the plate. The runner scores from second. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. It's 6-1. to one. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter. This guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags, he makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Teams with eight hits in this one. Standing in now, Neil Walker. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We've played eight full. It's the Mets six and the Rockies one.
The seven train making its stops just outside City Field as we welcome you back inside for the remainder of baseball on the show. Fernando Salas comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. Due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Gone all the way into the upper deck. So a solo shot here to left center field number 23 for him thus far as the lead is cut to four it's six to two now. Well the skipper called on him for a reason and I can guarantee you one thing that was not what he had in mind first pitch and it was out of here. That's a rough way to start your day at the office as a reliever. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Into the box now, Carlos Gonzalez. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. He's set. Here's the three and two. And a good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Back up the middle. Walker ranging to his right. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. The batter, number nine. A reminder that coming up immediately DJ after the broadcast, Bumming. we'll have full highlights from our ball game here at City Field. Digging in, DJ LeMayhew, lifetime against this pitcher, two for three. Bases are empty, one man out. On the ground to the right side. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. That's just a great baseball play. The pitcher executed his pitch, but the hitter was better, stayed with it, got a ball down, and drove it through. Stepping in now, Ian Desmond. And that one right down Main Street. Here it is on three and one. Squared that one up just a little late. Runner at first here, one man out. Fly ball out toward left center field. Granderson on the move. And he makes the catch for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now about him. Dustin Garneau. And here now is Dustin Garno. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Always nice to get the first game of the series. But even more so when it's in front of the home crowd seems to energize everybody the rest of the series and tonight's ends at a six to two finish Seth Lugo notches his third win of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show and for more click on over to the show score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Six runs, eight hits, no errors. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall, and he got it! What a catch! Gerard Dyson!
Mason. My goodness. Up. On it. And he held it. Amazing. Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No! Oh! 